Hey guys, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video in Veritas, I am here to talk about uh, protecting your SaaS applications such as O365, G Suite, and Salesforce. Now, if you want to try this uh, uh, backup and recovery solution, you can go to veritas.com and if you go under the products, you have this uh, SaaS backup under backup and recovery and you can try this 14 days trial by uh, just putting uh, some information such as email and your uh, name and that's it and you get uh, full-blown 14 days trial version but uh, sometimes there's a question that might arise is why only 14 days uh, when I wanted to test this I was under the same impression but uh, if you are system admin and you have to do with backup and recovery generally you are uh, you have to configure the servers uh, uh, do all those patching uh, and uh, you might uh, come across a lot of errors when it comes to backup and recovery. You have only specific windows. But the good thing is that, uh, as for my understanding, one thing is if you're trying to protect these as application, uh, the reason you went to O365 is that you don't want to have those uh, overhead cost of managing those application. Uh, all the owners, you want to give it to these uh, uh, vendors, whether it's Microsoft or uh, Google, these guys they'll be responsible for uh, making your application uh, uh, running and having it uptime. So in order to uh, protect this, my understanding is that you need to have a backup recovery solution, uh, which is uh, on, the, on the same line. You don't want to deploy the servers. You don't want to manage the storage. Uh, you want that uh, to be on the, on, the, on the vendor to uh, do everything on the background for you. And that is what Veritas does when it comes to SaaS backup because there is no hardware, there is no software to install, absolutely no maintenance required, everything will be done uh, by Veritas for you. And we'll see actually, and frankly speaking, uh, there is not uh, much to configure in this case, and you will see when I show you the portal. Uh, but just before I do that, uh, I have this uh, O365 application running, and as you can see, I have a couple of users, if I go to groups, I have uh, certain groups like accounting, uh, IT, marketing, sales. I have a couple of users in these groups. And I'm also using this for trial purpose just for this demonstration. And if I go further into my apps, I also have OneDrive. And I have a couple of uh, uh, folders in this one, again, just for the uh, testing purpose. Okay. So if you want to try this, as I said, that you can go and try that version. And after uh, you get the trial up and running, you'll be presented with this, uh, uh, this window in which you can put your credentials. And I'm going to log in with that. So I'm logging into my Veritas SaaS backup portal. It is a, a completely online portal. And as I said, there is no hardware software to manage. And it can protect your O365, G Suite, and Salesforce. So let me close this. The first thing I want to show you is uh, in this page, you can configure who can access this portal. So you can uh, give uh, different uh, administrative privileges. So if I expand these three dots, you can go to users and you can go to create users and you can assign different roles. So as you can see that you can give user administrator, you can give audit, you can have a full support, you can give them a limited support, you can also give them a single sign on admin. Uh, you can configure the login name, password from here, and you can also restrict for how long they can have this access. So they can have for a specific number of hours, days, weeks, months, year, or they can have unlimited access. And you can also configure what kind of permissions they can have, that they can only create a connector. So basically adding that O365 application, they can delete that connector, they can configure, preview, share so all those options are there which can be very handy uh, in case uh, uh, there are multiple uh, IT administrator and then you want to give specific rights to specific users so I'm not going to do that 
but I just wanted to show that functionality is there in this uh, SAS backup. Let me come out of this and uh, so as I said that it is pretty straightforward. There is no hardware or software to manage. The only thing you have to do is come to add button and depending upon what you what SAS application that you're trying to protect, in our case it's O365, you will just add this. You can give the name. For your connector, go to next and uh, it will ask you the permission requested except for your organization. That is my Office 365 uh, admin account and uh, this application would like to access all these uh, that you see on the screen. So you can go and accept this. Okay, so as you can see that uh, it is asking me, me to configure O365 uh, backup. So it was, uh, the connector was uh, successfully added and it is asking me to click select what data should uh, be backed up. So you can back it up, calendar, email, uh, OneDrive, sites, whatever you want, you'll be able to uh, back this up. I can also include the users. Okay, so it's asking me to add the user, so I'll just skip that. It is, uh, I can also do the AD groups in this case, and uh, I can go and uh, load groups here. And as you can see, I showed you that I have uh, multiple uh, groups over here, and I can just go and select them. And I can just go and save. So it is, as you can see, that the first backup is scheduled, and that is it. That is what it is uh, to configure this. It will synchronize, and the good thing is that, uh, as I said, you don't have to manage anything. It will backup the data automatically for you for six times, so almost four, every four hours in a day, it will do the backup for you. You can always add new users to backup automatically. You can manage them, and in case you need to restore, you can restore that to single file user, uh, that uh, uh, single uh, application uh, so it can drill down to that granular level uh, recovery and another thing that I like about this is that you get unlimited storage so it doesn't matter how much is the size of your uh, folder your uh, mailbox your OneDrive you get unlimited storage with that and that is it and as I said that it is very straightforward you don't need to have uh, uh, that kind of IT skills that we generally are used to to manage our backup and recovery infrastructure because if you look at as I said that there is not uh, uh, much to manage here we just have to add the connector and uh, point it to the uh, application and specify what we want to backup. I hope you find this video useful on Veritas SAS backup for Office 365. Thanks for watching have a good day.